Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on a patio. Coming to you from the onion patch. It is 86 degrees out here at 6.25 p.m. I am again smoking my Kaviki Billiard with, again, some Samuel Gawith ba Bothy Flake, or Bothy Flake. Pronounce it however you like. It's 2020. Live like you want to live. All I know is it tastes delicious. That is some good stuff. So I just went and ordered two more tins of that because I like it so much. What a great tasting tobacco. That onion pause was for Grateful Dog. Missed you. Missed you yesterday at the Pipe Club, buddy. When I get to Virginia, we got to hook up since we'll both be in Virginia. But, uh,. So I was thinking about the tobaccos I like. And what's really important to me in the tobaccos that I like. And uh, I think the most important thing for me is the flavor, obviously. I think everybody enjoys the flavors of their tobaccos, their favorites. But I'm finding that I like tobaccos that have a very deep, deep flavor to them. Things that are, um, I would say strong, but I, I'm, I'm not talking necessarily Nick Hit strong, but flavor strong. I like, you know, the, the black Irish twist, this bothy flake, brown Irish twist, um, the dark plug. Uh, rich dark flake uh, those all have really deep uh, sultry taste to them that I just love and uh, and that's kind of what I'm looking for right now I, I don't want a light flavored tobacco I want something that's going to give me you know depth and and things to ponder about the flavor of the tobacco. I don't want stuff that is grassy or hay-like. I want something with some deep flavor to it. Um, HU's Port Latakia is another one that's really good. There's just so many good tobaccos out that fit my tastes of what I like. That may not, you know, other people may not like them. They may want a lighter smoking taste. And 
I want something that's going to stick with me for a while and that I can taste and, and it's got flavors and it's not just hay-like with a bit of sweetness. I want some flavor to my tobaccos. So when I say strong tobacco, I'm talking flavor more than Nick Nick hits. Although Brown Irish Twist, Black Irish Twist, they have a good Nick hit to them as well. They are a, a strong nicotine-wise tobacco. But I like tobaccos with, uh, you know, I like Latakias, and, and I just like that the Englishes and the Balkans and those kind of, that have flavor to them. I also like Burleys a lot. Because um, they tend to have flavor to them. And, uh, But this, the Bothy Flake, is, man, it's incredibly good. It's incredibly good. And I haven't looked it up to see what's in it or anything. I had been, had people recommend this to me, people that I respected their taste in tobacco. So I went ahead and ordered a tin. Yeah, since today I ordered two more tins because it's that good. This may be one that I would mix with some uh, PS41 as well, just to see what it tastes like. Uh, I know the Black Irish Twist with PS41 is really good. So, once I've had my fill of this just uh, alone, I may mix it with some PS41 and just see, you know, do layers and just see what it's like. It's, uh, there's a mixture. It burns really well. Um, and I've got this packed in here pretty good. And, uh, burns well absolutely no tongue bite or anything like that from it just flavor flavor extraordinaire now uh palm olive piper i mean paladin piper he thinks anything by Gawith or Gawith and Hogarth has going to be taste like soap, but I don't get that at all. So, um, this doesn't have a, I'm not getting a floral scent from this at all either. So, I don't know why he thinks everything is a, floral scented soap bar mm. all I smell is deliciousness And there are, you know, light Lakelands, and, and you can get heavy Lakelands. Uh, you can ask for more Lakeland essence if you want it. And, you know, it's... But 
but I don't know that this is even a Lakeland. To tell you the truth, it may very well be, but I'm not getting the flowery grandma's panties notes. Uh, Is a, I forget who it was. It might have been. Um, in fact, it was Phil, Uncle Phil's cellar. Grandma's underpants. <laughs> that one still cracks me up. He was talking about people complaining about the tobacco smelling like Grandma's underpants drawer. And, Man, this is just a, an incredibly good smoking tobacco that tastes fantastic. So Paladin, don't order it. Save it for the rest of us who actually like good tasting tobaccos. And uh, we'll, we'll order them. You just stay away from the good stuff, okay? <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, man. So I'm getting into gear for cleaning the garage out. That's one I'm not looking forward to doing. There's just so much stored in there that was my mom's and stuff of mine. Got all my tools in there. All my tools are kind of buried behind my mom's stuff, so I can't even get to a lot of my tools. I had to go out and climb through and make up a bag of tools just to have a, tools I need for everyday stuff, you know. So I couldn't get to my tool chest. Just packed with boxes and stuff, furniture. And But we will uh, we will get through it. It'll be a two day job, I'm sure. But anyway, I will catch y'all later. I will try and do a I'll probably do a late night one tonight because I'm just not feeling too tired so I have a feeling I'll be up late I'll just keep working and come out here when I'm done but I hope y'all have a good one uh, if I don't see you tonight I'll see you tomorrow God bless <laughs>